It was a chilly morning in Mississippi, but warming up and thawing out the football field. So they tried to bring in all this stuff to drive the sidelines, which made it worse, made it real gummy, it's like he's like playing in some kind of pace. Forest football head coach Jack French led his team to the 1992 3A state championship, a chance for the Bearcats to win their first title. Everything that had frozen the night before was thawing out, so it was making it wetter by the minute, and that puts us in this, this unusual game. Poor field conditions forced Forrest to change its plan. Instead of running, they need to throw. They need to catch. Down one score with 51 seconds left, they'd need Todd Pinkston. I said, you throw it right over yonder on top of that pile on, and Todd, you go catch it. And Todd reached as long as that arm would reach back through the end zone tipped it back in the field, and he goes to his knees. When he comes up, he throws the ball up in there. It's a moment known as the catch. The 2014 win, making a name for a student athlete who didn't see much playing time. It's going hard for, it, for anything else to ever be better than that catch. He was a very athletic guy, and everything that Todd did, Todd excelled in it. Don Stokes was there too. Now in his 36th year coaching Forest football, he's watched Pinkston continue to reach new heights. People around here are a very tight community. Uh, everyone knows uh, everyone around here. He had really put the forest on the map. When you come from Mississippi, you come out hungry. Uh, you come from these type of areas, you don't have too many resources, so you always want to get out, man. So when you have the opportunity, you want to take it and run with it. Sherrod Gideon is from Greenwood. He became Pinkston's closest teammate and roommate at Southern Miss. The two wide receivers grew to be one of the most feared duos in the country. Pick each other's brain about this coverage, that coverage, and things like that, so I knew he had that part of it down. Both men played in the NFL, and now Pinkston is in his first year as running backs coach for the Chiefs. He's working alongside Andy Reid, the head coach he once played for in the Super Bowl. I saw this when he was a player. He was willing to teach the young guys, and he just had a good way about him with that. And I always thought, man, this you'd be like a really good football coach. Dreams do come true. We always talk about that. Look around like, how did we, how did, is this even possible? How are we here from where we came from? A small town country kid who basically got out the mud to be where he is. Even though you're from a small town, you don't have to have a small town dream. Dream big. That's something Todd Pinkston has wanted the kids back home to know. He started the Todd Pinkston Enhancement Program, an after-school support system that provides tutoring and food. It means a lot just because of um, the small town that we're from, Forest. It's not, not a lot here. So to see somebody uh, make an impact on not only himself and his family, but the town and the city as a whole. The Todrick Pinkston is Todd's nephew and the Forest boys basketball head coach. He says he's inspired to be a mentor for others, just like the fatherly figure Todd was for him. Just thankful that, you know, he was part of my family and I was able to grow up in a family to where somebody actually gave us hope. I'm proud of him. Went on where he is from. He had to sacrifice some things to get where he is today. And God blessed us. Reporting in Forest. Todd is a fine person. He deserves everything that's coming his way. A lot of parents don't get to see their children successful. But I'm glad to be in the shoes I'm in today. I'm David Edelstein.